What is that saying? Something about fool me once, my fault, and fool me twice, your fault, something like that, whatever it is. Anyway, we got some custom shop hot rod flats paint here. You notice this particular color is gloss, and so this is single stage urethane and gloss, even though it's got the hot rod flats uh, brand to it. And this is actually flats, it's a flat color. So I uh, tried to get the colors uh, to match up to the bike as close to what was on there from originally from the factory. And uh, you really got to check your, your man card when you get ready to paint a bike these colors, that's for sure. But um, anyway, so this is a flat color that will be going on the fenders and a few other places. And this is a uh, gloss color. And the colors are light aqua and this one is vanilla shake so all right well we'll show you more uh, later on it's going to be a couple days before we do any painting or a few days but uh, just want to show you the colors that we got and I already had some hardener from the other stuff we dealt with with these guys so just ordered the quarts of paint and I think it was about uh, $24 a quart to get those two colors so it should be plenty plenty of paint for the for what we're doing all right, well, we're continuing the body work on the fenders here, and I thought we had this one pretty much ready, but I didn't like the way it felt, so we put one more wipe on there, on the front section there, and this one is going to get, the whole thing is going to get skimmed, so we got more work to do on that. And uh, doing the initial mock-up on the motor here in the frame, and this is a 90cc Honda eBay special replica, $200 shipped. Um, and it is a Piranha brand as you can see so we're going to shave that and while we're doing the filler work we'll just shave this uh, off and it's got the same on the other side and then we'll uh, when we're done the pinstriper that Pete uses uh, we'll have him do a little artwork there or put a logo of some kind on it or maybe put the simplex logo I'm not sure so uh, the uh, the space between uh, the rear fender where it comes down and the front frame rails was 15 inches. This engine is 17 inches, 16 and a half or so. Um, so you can see that's a tight fit. We're going to cut this, this frame rail, or the frame rails right here and right here and, and basically kind of reroute them around and uh, got some tubing ordered for that. And man, it's a killer. Every time. Uh, you know, I want to order parts for something there. Seems like they're on back order. So um, the wheels are on back order until January the 10th. The tank that we ordered for it is on back order to January 5th. So not too too long, but I got plenty of stuff to do in the meantime that we can be working on. But uh, anyway, we'll keep working on this stuff, and uh, hopefully we can paint these fenders and the seat pan and get that done and out of the way and get a look at that blue and make sure that's what we want. Um, and uh, so we'll just keep working and keep showing you what we're doing here. All right, well, we got our uh, crappy logos shaved off there. Got that nice and finished off, ready for some primer. And uh, this engine, you know, we I really wanted to get something vintage for this thing. Uh, you know, finding an original engine for this is pretty much impossible. Uh, they do pop up here and there, but should be waiting a long time. And I may just keep an eye out for one and come back and and do that. But um, you know, to find any kind of vintage motorcycle engine that would that has a vertical uh, cylinder with horizontal drive is uh, not impossible. You can find them out there quite often, uh, but they're expensive. You know, I didn't want to spend a lot of money and for two hundred dollars uh, shipped on eBay, two twenty or whatever it was. You really can't uh, can't beat that um, with a kickstart, and I mean I could have put like a lawnmower engine like uh, Musty did, and there's nothing really wrong with that. This is more of a motorcycle frame and a bigger bike than the board track racer style bicycle. Um, so um, anyway, and nothing wrong with that. Could have done that, but uh, just decided to go this route. So um, anyway, gonna do some modifications. We'll get on that this weekend. And uh, probably do a little bit more out here tonight, work on that uh, front end there, the forks. And we got the fenders uh, pretty much ready to go. 
Um, I know you, I said in a couple other videos, hey, we got, I got, you know, one more wipe or two more. I think I'll probably wipe these things about 10 times and sanded it all off. You can see on the floor there. Uh, but they're pretty good now and uh, pretty smooth. So, uh, anyway, we'll work on these, get these painted this weekend and uh, work on the frame and start building the motor mount and go ahead and cut those front tubes out so we can slide that head forward and then the new tubes will kind of, uh, you know, come down and then route down this way, down and that way, like that, uh, to make a little room uh, for that head to sit right in front of the, between the front down tubes there. So, anyway, a lot of rambling, not much uh, action going on here, and uh, we'll uh, be back at it tomorrow.